Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin Brown. I'm assistant head coach of USA Para Powerlifting and I'm SOCOM's powerlifting coach. And today we're going over sport specific training. So this is going to include commands, how competitions run and the equipment used in competition. So this is gonna be the equipment used in competition. You're gonna have the bench, which you're already familiar with. We've got a bar, you'll have plates, the collars and the bench straps. So these will be a competition. You'll have two you can wear. You don't have to wear them at all. You can wear one or you can wear both. But when you're in training, have something similar or even a, a regular weightlifting belt will work. Um, a regular belt you wear with your pants, that's fine too. But you, you'll need to figure out if that's something that you're going to be comfortable with in training and in competition. Anyway, you can figure that out on your own. Um, we're also gonna be dealing with kilos. So I know in most of your gyms, you're gonna be familiar with pounds because that's all that's available, which is perfectly fine. But in competition, it's only gonna be kilos. When you get there, you're going to need to know what it is that you're lifting in kilos. So just remember that one kilo equals 2.2046 pounds. So you can do the math with the calculator, you can even use the internet, whatever works best for you. I want to go over the bar with you. So I know at a lot of our gyms at home, we have two different size bars. There's a 15 kilo bar, which is 33 pounds. Then there's also this type that's 20 kilos and that's gonna be 44 pounds. And some of us are familiar with the 45 pound bar. But anyway, in the Paralympic style competition, you're only going to have a 20 kilo bar. So just make sure you know what you're lifting at home. And also I wanted to touch on the collars. So these are 2.5 kilos each. So that's gonna be five kilos added to the bar. Again, make sure you know what you're lifting at home. In competition, we're only competing in the bench press. There are no other lifts involved. That's because we're basing it off of Paralympic style powerlifting. So in competition, you'll have three attempts. That's gonna be three rounds total. You're gonna provide your first attempt. So that's gonna be the number you're gonna be lifting first at weigh-in when you go in for kit check and weigh-in in the morning. So in competition, you go do your first attempt. After your first attempt, you discuss with your coach what you wanna do for your second attempt. And then you go back and wait in the waiting room or the warm-up area until the second round. So every lifter is gonna lift one time before you get to do your second attempt. The way that it's set up is it's set up by weight classes. You're gonna end up having different flights. So each weight class is going to be competing against each other and it's going to start with the lowest starting weight and then it's going to end with the highest starting weight. And then the next round, it might change. You may not follow the same person because it's going to be the same thing. It's going to start with the lowest starting attempt or the second attempt or the third attempt and it's going to keep going up from there. Let's go over the commands real quick. So when your name is called to get onto the competition platform, you will have two minutes to take the bar off the rack. It's plenty of time. You don't need to rush. Trust me, it goes by a lot slower than you'd think. So when you come to the bench, you lay down, you grab the bar. You can have the head spotter pull the bar out for you and help a little bit. And then let's go ahead and take the bar off, please, actually. All right, so then the spotter leaves and the head ref, when they see that you have the bar in control, he or she will say start with a hand motion, go ahead. Good, and then you'll do your pause, you'll lift it up. And then when the head ref sees that your arms have locked out at the same time, he or she will then say rack with this arm movement, just like that. So after you lift, after you racked, after the head ref said rack, you'll get up, you'll discuss quickly with your coach how that attempt went, what you wanna do for your next attempt. And then your coach is gonna take that number to the scoring table, and that way it'll go in for the next round. While you, you'll need to go to the back, wait in the waiting area, wear a jacket, that way it keeps your upper body warm and loose, so you don't get too tight or too cold before you come out for your next attempt. So before competition, I like to figure out what three attempts I might be lifting that way, when we are competing, we're not gonna be panicking about what the heck we're gonna be lifting next. So when you look at your first attempt, I like to pick a number that I know I can lift for a set of two. Your second attempt and your third attempt can be heavier, of course. 
Um, usually around those are gonna be your max, near your max, usually a new max. Usually it's the time to hit a new PR. Up next, it is Israel Del Toro representing SOCOM here in the U.S. Second attempt, up five kilos to 105. The bar is set. Slow and steady up the lockout. Perfect lift for Del Toro on attempt number two. That was 108. Uh, 105, excuse me, up next 108. Peter Brown from Australia will be attempting 108. The bar is set. Okay, to recap today's video, we went over sport specific training in powerlifting. And that included how competitions run, the commands, and the equipment used. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Caitlin Brown. I'm assistant head coach for USA Para Powerlifting, and I'm SOCOM's powerlifting coach. Thank you guys. See you guys soon.